What is going on guys? Welcome back to the episode. I'm currently at my grandma's house right now. We have a pretty cool video planned today. I went out this morning and I got us some crappie and some shell cracker. Never even eaten a shell cracker. The whole goal of this video today is to take this fish and actually make it into sushi. And I've never even eaten sushi before. I have all the supplies, everything we're gonna need to make this happen today. We're gonna jump right into this video. I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna prepare these fish and then we'll go from there. Here you guys can see that I have the crappie and this big old shell cracker on the table right here. It's a good looking fish. I've actually never eaten one of these before. I know these crappie look kind of small too. I was in a rush to try to get these fish today and this was the best I can do for my spots I have. So I'm pretty much just gonna cut the head off. I'm just gonna scale these fish, gut the bellies, clean them out, and I actually cook my fish whole. You save a lot of meat doing that. So let's get to it. Alright guys, we're all these fish are scale cut off and cleaned. Now we're just gonna wash them off. There's a lot of steps to make this sushi. Like I said, I, I never really made it before. I just think it's gonna taste pretty good. Bring in the crabby because it's just a kind of bland type of meat. So I figured we just throw it with this sushi. It's gonna taste really good. Like I said the shell cracker never had before. That might be good too. There's a lot of steps we have to do inside now. So I'm gonna just show y'all what we have laid out, the ingredients we're gonna need. And we're just gonna jump right into it. y'all everything's cooked this is the crappy right here this is the shell cracker i have two separate bowls in order to make this sushi i just want to strip all the meat off both fish have a bunch of fruits and vegetables we're going to try to make something work there's a lot of sushis out there i know you can put like crab and raw fish and all that so the type we're going for today so instead of like a chunk of meat we're just gonna have a shredded pieces of meat so let's start stripping all this meat off Guys, we have everything laid out. We have carrot, celery, mango, peaches, kiwi, avocado, the rice, and our actual little rolling tray with the seaweed. Like I said, I never had sushi before, and Lex, she actually eats it all the time, so I'm gonna let her do this. I have no clue how to roll it. Wait, I don't know how to do anything, so you wanna take it over? All right, come on. All right, so I'm putting the rice in. We did a fourth cup of white wine vinegar, and a fourth cup of sugar, and a couple of teaspoons of salt. You wanna leave about this much of space left without rice on it. So we'll add our vegetables. We have some carrots and we have some celery. We'll add our fish in and then we'll get to the extras. We're gonna put some avocado in. Give him some mango. Take our knife, is actually sitting in cold water. It's supposed to help cut a little bit better. We're gonna go for a first cut. Alright 
you all everything's done. It looks amazing. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of sushi, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Not that bad. Tastes all the flavors in it. Not that bad. I can actually, I can taste the crappy. Shell cracker has a different taste. All right, well, it wasn't bad. Apparently, I didn't dip it in this. What is this sauce? Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce wasn't the best, I think I liked it without it. But it's not bad, for something that we just put together and made them. I thought it was pretty good. Now you guys try. Strong at first. A lot of flavors going on. Mm-hmm. Then once you take a couple bites, kind of miles down. Very good. I'd make it again. you make it again? Definitely. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. I like it, it's really good. All right guys, so that was the catch and cook making this sushi. I, didn't, I thought it turned out pretty good. It was unique going out there and catching these crappy. Everyone normally just fries them. I think it was cool we didn't batter these crappy. We just put them in the pot, a little bit of butter and oil. Stripped all the meat off of it. Just went out to Walmart and picked up all the stuff we needed to make this video today. Everyone enjoyed it, so I don't think it wasn't that bad. The soy sauce wasn't the best for me. There's a thousand ways you can make sushi. So I just decided to make my own. This was crappy and shell cracker. If you guys wanna try it yourself, just go out there and catch a fish. Cook it the way you want and you never know how it can turn out like this one did. We had a lot of exotic fruits and vegetables in this too, and that gave a little bit of a tang. If you guys enjoy these catch and cook videos, just leave a comment down below. We're gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys wanna watch any of these four videos, just click on one, leave a comment down below. I appreciate it, guys. Looking best.